A lot of people initially counted this show out. They said, this show's gone. It's so sad. Looking back a year, did you ever dream that you'd be in this position? Ratings are up. Um, I was surprised that we're doing as well as we are because I think we all were. We, you know, you're missing, you're missing Kid. But I knew that we would do it because Kid put us together. And he had this vision when he was putting the show together that, you know, maybe one day he would retire and he wouldn't be around and that we would have to be doing this. So I think he, he already set us up for success before he, before he even knew it. I don't know if JC remembers, but he just made me think of this. Some days when we would leave work after this happened, him and I would be in the parking garage together. We were so frustrated when we would hear people's, you know, backhanded comments about, oh, well, this isn't going to last or something. And we would just look at each other and be like, gosh, just give us some time. We know that it's going to be okay. We would just say that to each other every day before we would leave work in the parking garage. And I think we just knew that we would together be okay. We got this. <laughs> got this. <laughs> you had no doubt? Did you have doubt? I, re I really did not. I was very frustrated at the beginning because there were so many people who did write us off mm -hmm. and didn't even give it, the show a chance to fail. Give us a chance to fail. Give us a chance to succeed. And I, I just knew in my gut it was going to be okay. Yeah. I, it was just frustrating when not everybody felt the same way that I did, you know. Yeah. yeah. And on radio, you're, you're given that opportunity when you start out. You know, you're going to have your ups and downs. We weren't given that luxury we were we were supposed to hit the ground running we didn't have that luxury to have downs because everybody wanted us to maintain that level that we already had with kid that's what made it tough but i think we did i think we did a wonderful job doing that well also it's a different i mean right after you know it happened and we came back on the air we're, we weren't as good as we are right now we were all oh, no. kind of still finding our way kid was the leader Kid directed the show. Kid came up with the majority of the content for the show. He, he liked it that way. And then we were suddenly responsible for deciding which direction we were going to take the show, what topics we were going to talk about. So we were a little bit out of our element in that sense. Right. I still knew it could work, but we had a little growing to do. I think when he died, we had so much national coverage even that people tuned into the show that maybe never even heard it before. And, you know, so Do you we think people came audience. back? I think some people might have come back. Maybe they, you know, got distracted and things happened. Suddenly right. they gave the show another listen. They, you know, right. it's like that old pair of shoes. Oh, yeah. I forgot those were in the yeah, back of the closet. Yeah, yeah. And, they still you know, and now we have people who grew up with kid. <clears throat> now they're listening to the car with their kids. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think it just, it, it just reminded people we were there and the people that came and maybe heard it for the first time stayed. Some mm -hmm. people came back mm -hmm. and stayed. What do you think kid would say about how the show's going today? I think he'd be very proud of us. I think he'd still have a little bit of advice and criticisms <laughs> for some of us. Yeah. Some things we could be doing better. Sure, sure. But um, I think he'd be very proud. Do. do I absolutely mm -hmm. do. He I, know, I, I know he'd be proud. I know he yeah. would be. Well, I can just imagine if I died, he'd have the ghost of Kelly haunting the studio. Oh, gosh, you know, he would. Yeah. He would have totally, you know. That's it. Made yeah. a bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah he would have made it a bit. Yeah, we might bring in the ghost of Craddock one day. <laughs> I can ask myself, I don't know about you guys, if I'd be okay with it. Like if I were the one that passed away and they were referencing me or even making fun of me, even if I wasn't here to defend myself, then I totally would, you know. And then say, look at the Arbitron. I would. Jenna's dead and we went up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because amongst everything else, you know, he wanted to, he was generous and wanted to help people and he wanted to make people laugh, mm -hmm. you know. So you got to, we're carrying on the kids' kids and that was important to him and he... I think more than anything, he loved making people laugh.